when you go back over it, for example, on the intelligence, um, yes, in retrospect, it would have been better to have challenged it. And I understand the mistakes of planning and so on and so forth. And there are lots of things I will take responsibility for and express deep regret for. Which do you I feel do. that every day? I mean, do you think about it? Of course, day? I think about it every day. It was the biggest decision I ever took in government. It was the most difficult decision I ever took. But I sometimes the, the, the problem is that, that I feel until I actually say to people, OK, I wish we had not joined the American coalition. I wish we'd not got rid of Saddam. Until I say that, people won't really accept that I mean my regret. And I can regret the mistakes and I can regret many things about it. But I, I genuinely believe not just that we acted out of good motives and I, I did what I did in good faith, but that I, I sincerely believe that it, we would be in a worse position if we hadn't acted in that way. Now, I may be completely wrong about that. And, you know, these, these are incredibly difficult judgments. Well, some say you're deluded. Well, some can just say, why don't they just say they disagree? But if, if someone um, wants to, to disagree, they should at least, and that's why I set out in such detail yesterday, the, the counterfactual. What if we hadn't done it? What if we'd left him there? What would he have done? What would have been the consequences during the Arab Spring? Look at Syria today. Look at Libya today. I, I understand if people still disagree, but at least do, do, do me the respect. If I respect your position, do me the respect of going and reading my argument and understanding that there is an argument there. You may decide in the end, no, I don't agree with it. But it's, you know, my, my worry is when all of these debates are conducted around around character and good faith and as you know lies and if you're not careful what you end up the casualty of 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 the of a of a debate that's all about that type of invective is is you're then unable to to have a proper debate about the difficulty of dealing with this issue because we see it everywhere in the world today isn't there a sense perhaps in which you you're a deeply religious man we know that it's impossible for you, in a sense, to offer the people who have been affected by the war the apology, the full apology they feel is needed, because the responsibility for that is something that you simply couldn't bear. And I wonder whether you, whether you pray at all and whether you ask God for forgiveness. Um, I think um, there may well be people who believe that until I, I say I took the wrong decision, that I'm not properly sorry, I understand that. But because I don't believe it, and because, because I, I don't think that this struggle was in vain in the end. You know, when I look at the Middle East today, and I, you know, forgive me for saying this, but I'm, I'm there a lot of the time, I'm, I'm watching it and looking at it, I see the struggle that's going on in the Middle East, which is all to do with can these countries get to religiously tolerant and pluralistic societies? Can they get to rule-based economies and democracy? And I'm, I'm looking at it and I'm thinking, OK, what we did in removing Saddam had terrible cons consequences that we did not foresee. And I understand all the criticisms. But when I l look at it today, I, I think still that we, we moved with the grain of where the future is going to be in these countries and in this region. And in the end, when I look at other battlefields or battlegrounds in the region are, are we better off in syria uh, than we are in iraq i, I don't know but I, I know that this debate can't just be conducted in terms of you know whether um my decision in iraq was taken on on, on right or wrong grounds or in good faith or bad faith it, it's at some point we've got to be able to have a, a what i would call a really 